Succulents are plants with chubby thick leaves that are adapted for water storage in the desert. Some store water in their leaves like the aloe vera, one of the most famous succulents. And they also store water too in their stems like this cactus over here. Do you know because of these harsh environments, succulents have evolved to propagate in unique and interesting ways. Today, I'll be showing you two of my favourite ways to propagate succulents. First up, leaf propagation. This method works the best on succulents with thick juicy leaves like this Echeveria. Gently twist a healthy leaf downwards and to the side to remove it. You want to make sure that all the leaves are fully intact and not damaged, otherwise you will not be able to propagate. Then, place the healthy leaves on the surface of a pot full of soil and all you need to do is to sprinkle a few drops of water weekly, right at the tip of the leaves. Over the next few weeks, roots will grow out and bury into the soil and baby plantlets will then emerge from between. After around a month, it is now time for our baby plantlets to start its new solo journey. So what you're going to do is to cut away the dried up parent leaf from the plant. Okay, and this is a pot full of our independent little babies starting to grow all by themselves. As for the second method, stem propagation, you're going to need a clean pair of knife or scissor. I usually use this method if the plant has grown extra tall like this and I want to keep just its head while at the same time still using its stem to propagate extra new parts. Do a nice snip just 1 cm below the lowest leaf over here. Do note that you will have to keep the head and the stem somewhere dry away from pests so that they have time for the fresh wound to heal. After two to three days, you can actually start planting the succulent into a new pot of soil like this and over a few more weeks, it will eventually start rooting. The headless part will also grow multiple new babies around the stems. And this method can also be applied to cactus where this headless stem here has multiple babies just like this. So grab your succulents at home and start propagating them. It's a super fun and rewarding experience. 